I've learned from experience that the place to save lives is in the field. Not an office. And sometimes, the only way to save a life is to take one. Hello everybody, this is Jekyll Gaming and today we are back on duty from the Christmas holidays. I wish you all a happy new year and yeah, let's have a start with the next operator. Today we want to have a closer look to Doc. As you can see, Doc is a heavy armored GIGN operator and let's have a look at his bio. He comes from Paris, is a pretty uh, small guy with 1 meter 77 and his name is Gustav Gustav Katip Katip. I don't know how the exact spelling is in French. Yeah, but if you want to read his biography, just pause the video here. So let's have a look at his loadout. You can choose bet between three primary weapons, the shotgun, a submachine gun, the MP5 and the P90 submachine gun. And as we already saw the P90, um, we want to have a closer look to the MP5 today. The MP5 is a standard machine gun especially in the German special forces and as you can see it has a damage index of 34 why I'm saying index that's because you don't make real 34 damage points um, we will have a closer look to the damage of each weapon in a later video but um, the damage points are not 34 for this gun. We have a pretty high firing rate of 800 bullets per minute and a mobility of 45. The capacity of 30 bullets per mag is uh, normal and with my attachments and we have a closer look to them um, you have this recoil pattern. So let's look at the MP5. I attached it with an ACOG sight. It's one of my favorite sights. I really like to play with the ACOG so I know a lot of people are playing with the holographic side for my aiming I um, recognize that the red dot side and the ACOG are on the best sides for me so that's um, pretty individual what side you are preferring I attached the weapon with a suppressor um, that's because of the role I want to play with Doc. With Doc you want to stay in the area to secure and you want to help your teammates. If they are hurt you are the one who gets them back, the one who revives them. And therefore it's important that my position is hided. The foregrip is pretty standard for controlling the weapon and I disabled the laser beam because the enemy can see the laser beam especially when they smoke the room or when the room is a little bit dusty um, because of uh, wall breaches and so on they can see your laser beam and therefore they know where you are and that is the last thing you want. The secondary weapon you can choose between the standard P9 handgun 9mm with 60 rounds per mag and it makes a damage of 40 uh, in comparison with the LFP 586 Magnum revolver um, it makes a pretty high damage of 64 but has only 6 bullets in his uh, chambers and the secondary gadgets are the barbed wire and the deployable shield I think that's pretty standard now well, what is your role when you play Doc? When you play Doc, you're the one who revives your teammates. You're the one who is in charge defending the area. So stick to your team and be aware of the enemies and your teammates. And when you have to revive, you have to do this. 
Therefore you have your stim pistol where you can revive your teammates from distance. So use it. It brings more health when you revive your teammates than other teammates when they revive them. Um, and that leads you to a small trick. If someone of your team or yourself uh, is in low health, just uh, bring them to uh, bring them down and then revive them by doc or doc can revive himself and then you get more health points back as you can see in his um, details doc is heavy armored therefore his role is the designated defender who stays in the area with the other teammates who want to secure the area so roaming isn't really uh, meant for Doc. Well, let's have a look at some in-game footage playing with Doc. The, area. Keep the, bombs protected. the first thing you can see when you're playing Doc, you don't have to reinforce, um, especially in this two rooms, there are no walls to reinforce. So you can take care of the drones as I'm doing this right now. And then don't forget to take your additional well, armor plates. The dock is already armored very heavy but an additional plate is always uh, makes always sense. Then check the room for the drones. And Maybe you can coordinate the reinforcements if you see a wall that needs reinforcement. In this room it makes sense to reach some window barricades in order to get a easy kill. And there you can see why I'm playing ACOG sites, especially on this map, because there are a lot of medium distance firefights, so the ACOG makes sense. Op four, last operator standing. And there's the last one. He's playing IQ. Ah. Uh, the MP5 isn't the gun with the highest damage, but yeah. located a bomb. Plan your defenses accordingly. And again, I'm taking care of drones. It's pretty important uh, to prevent. From many enemy drones. Five seconds to insertion. And there you can see, even on medium distance fights, you can control the MP5 very easy. It's a pretty nice gun. And. This is how you revive yourself. No big deal. And you get back 7 health points. And then we had to fight against a um, sniper. That's pretty high distance when you're playing against glass. But sometimes you're lucky. Well, I hope you had fun with this little review of Doc and I hope to see you soon.